kids in college and you want to stand on stage. I was in jail for two years and I'm standing in the same spot. <laughs> Living above you, yeah, that's good, man. Yeah, you guys, did you know this was for kidneys? This was a kidney benefit, I had no idea, but when the guy was like, this is for kidneys, there's a group at the table in the back, the guys all started clicking their beer cans together, like, yeah, kidneys, drink up, I love dialysis. That's right, you motherfuckers back there, I watched them. Yeah, they know what they're talking about. Yeah. yeah, I really wasn't in jail for two years, I don't want to get you guys nervous, I was only in jail for ten months. You know, I would need a lawyer, so many of you guys graduating soon. We can talk this whole issue about my wife getting put in the trunk, she's going to me. You know, I was like, I didn't put you in there, you put yourself in there. Whatever. So am I turning you on yet, honey? Like, ooh, a bad boy, he's in jail. I'm digging him. I'm not really talking to you, I'm talking to him. Anyway, I'm walking down the street in the city, 
and I bumped into this lesbian girl, right? But not like your typical, you know, average lesbian like these two ladies over here. But like a hardcore lesbian, you know? When I say hardcore, this woman had tattoos all over her body. A shaved head and a goatee. <laughs> Tough bitch, you know what I'm saying? When I bumped into her, I wasn't paying attention. So I said, excuse me, dude. <laughs> dude is apparently the wrong thing to call a lesbian. This woman got so mad at me, she got right up in my face. She was like, dude, dude, do I look like a dude to you? <sighs> and me being the man I was, I was like, <laughs> Like when I was a teenager, I dated this epileptic girl. You know, so a blowjob was always pretty scary. Every time I had sex with her, I had to go in with a wallet in one hand and a spoon in the other. enjoy the occasional Boy Scout, so I figured I'd throw that one right under the bus there for you too. Yeah, I mo most of you guys don't have children, right? That they claim? Your parents aren't here taking you home tonight, are they? I gotta go, my mom's outside. Now, I have children, and something for you guys to look forward to when you have kids. My 14-year-old son is now blaming me for his recent introduction and addiction to porno. And why is he blaming me for this? Because one lousy time I left a porno DVD in his PlayStation 2. <laughs> so now it's all daddy's fault, you know? I mean, that was the day that he discovered that he too comes equipped with his own joystick, <laughs> which is a game he's now playing every single day. You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> you look like you're a two-a-day guy. <laughs> And then I caught, I caught my son going on on the internet, looking at the porno sites too, which, which wouldn't have been so bad, but he was under my screen name. I had to sit with him, I'm like, oh my god, bud, are you at least looking at the older women, like daddy? Or is the FBI going to be coming knocking at the door to take daddy and the computer away like some sort of sick fucking pervert? Well, thank god that didn't happen, my friend, but you know what did happen? A package came in the mail. My wife. Oh. Nice. Like every other woman in my life, I turned it off. <laughs> a package came in the mail. My wife called me at work. She said, did you order anything? I said, no. Well, I'm going to open this. Fine. To make a long story a little shorter, my 14-year-old son ordered <laughs> penis enlargement pills <laughs> off of the internet. Oh. I had to sit with him again. He said, well, Daddy, you know, I was online under your screen name. This advertisement popped up, and I just clicked OK. And then it said, thank you, Mr. Lawyer. Your prescription has been refilled. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, that's my time. 